This here is a video on how to use linear patterns documents in terms of not only developing pattern rules, showing your students how to develop table of values, but also algebraic expressions and equations. A bonus one here will be developing a graph to represent your equation of the table of values. And so this here is focusing on the grade 7 math curriculum, but it's also applicable to the grade 8 as well. And this here shows the table of contents, the expectations from the Ontario curriculum for math, and these here are keywords for students to be aware of with regards to patterns. And this here shows you the part one here, which shows students to differentiate between a non-linear growth versus a linear growth. And these are four questions for them to be aware of in terms of how to identify those. Most importantly here is introducing them to what is a pattern rule, which shows them how to go from one term value to the next, and this here is how it is done. Next part two is focusing on linear growth patterns to table of values. In here, they are asked to practice again, developing a pattern rule, and then given a title for only the term number, but also the term value. So these are the various questions that you should be aware of. There are five of them, and this leads us to part three, which is a group activity, which shows them how to label a specific given expression and connecting them to the proper pattern representations in letters and this here are how it is done make sure please you cut these into individual patterns and you place them in different stations around the room and divide your class into groups so that they can rotate around the classroom and solve everything in in each station and so this here is going to be around 50 to 60 minutes long and these are what you're going to be giving your students either in groups or individuals and what they are asked to do is write the letter that best fits the specific expression given the specific pattern representation and here are the diverse pattern representations you notice here that all of them are all growth and not shrinking and most importantly this here are linear and none of them are non-linear so your students should be able to be aware of how to deal with these particular strategies here you know for them to not only first determine what the particular table is but also develop an algebraic expression for this and this here leads us to part four and part four here shows them how to develop an algebraic expression and algebraic equation given the pattern representation and so these here are examples that are shown uh, most importantly here shows them how to actually apply it in terms of not only stepwise but also one shot right here and so these are various practice questions for them to be playing around with as you notice here all of them are growth and they are linear so they should be comfortable with this this leads us to the final part which introduces shrinking patterns but not only in terms of whole numbers but also decimals and these here are all lin linear in terms of the representations so in here what's honorably is that they not only have to show the pattern rule but also graph it as shown on this particular side and also determine what the future value is for example what is figure 15 like in this case here what is the week 15 like and next here is what is few 10 like and finally here is what is month 7 like they should show you a solution which means that they're not guessing or predicting by adding or subtracting the same rate but rather they actually put in the value into an equation and then solve for the term value so i hope you found this really informative in terms of this particular document here are the answers for you to play around with and for your students either post it individually or put it all in one hope you find this really informative i hope you enjoyed this resource and help you check out more of the resources here at this particular platform thank you so much